what's the gap there? How is how are people being misdiagnosed? So going back to just older models of care, many people are just seemingly still obsessed with a single hemoglobin A1C as a measurement or an indicator of, hey, is this diabetes or not? And when we diagnose diabetes, type 1 or type 2, we are looking at hemoglobin A1C is a good indicator, but we're also looking at the glucose and we're looking at the levels of glucose. And then um, we are also looking for any, if they have positive oral glucose tolerance test. So many clinicians will just screen patients with a hemoglobin A1C. So a normal A1C would be less than 6.5%. So To give you an example, I had a patient recently with a hemoglobin A1C of 6.4%, then his A1C was 6.5, then it was 6.6, then it was 6.7, and this is over several years. However, no one had checked his glucose. I then put him on a continuous glucose monitor, and I think a lot of clinicians are missing this. Either they don't know or they don't have time because of just constraints of the healthcare system, right? And we can diagnose diabetes when there is a fasting plasma glucose above the level of 126 um, or higher, and at least two occasions. So many patients will check their blood sugar with either like a standard glucometer or with a continuous glucose monitor or biosensor, and we will be able to capture that data in, you know, live time and be able to give them a diagnosis formally and say, hey, this is type 2 or, hey, this is type 1, and a lot of people are missing that. Mm -hmm. And I hope it starts changing because we want to act earlier and get people what they need before things progress, right? And age-wise, what's the general distribution of of patients that you're seeing in in your office? So I see patients ages 10 and up. I typically seem to draw a lot of younger patients. I do have many teenagers, 20s, early 30s. I do have a lot of 40s, 50s. Traditionally, it seems more women will come in. I think there is still this... um, kind of like an old bias. A lot of men will not seek care early on um, just because of like these traditional, um, you know, views on men not wanting help or, you know, that looking weak or something like that. But I do see that changing. So I primarily, I would say 60, 70 percent are women. Um, And then in that age group of the teenagers up to 40s, I see some um, women in perimenopause and menopause, and that certainly like the hormones play into um, diabetes management as well. 